Hello students, in my previous video, I had explained you about the process of transpiration as well as the use of potometer. Now in this video, I am explaining you one of the important experiment on transpiration. Here in this experiment, we are demonstrating that there is unequal transpiration from two surfaces of a leaf. As you all know, a leaf has two surfaces. Now in this particular experiment, we are talking about a dicot leaf, dicotyledonous leaf. A dicot leaf has more stomata on the lower surface. This lower surface is a dorsal surface and upper surface is ventral surface. Now to prove this, that there is more transpiration takes place from lower surface, what can we do? We take cobalt chloride paper. The color of cobalt chloride paper is blue when it is dry. And as I have told you previously that this cobalt chloride paper is an indicator of moisture. That means on getting moisture, this will change its color to pink. So what do we do? We take cobalt chloride paper and we stick this cobalt chloride paper with the help of a slide, with the help of clips, we attach this cobalt chloride paper on the upper surface, that is ventral surface, as well as on the lower surface. This blue colored cobalt chloride paper will be attached on upper as well as lower surface of a dicot leaf. What do we notice? That the color of this cobalt chloride paper will remain same or will change to pink in a very long time as compared to this cobalt chloride paper which was attached on the lower side. Now this cobalt chloride paper which was attached on the lower side which will turn its color to pink means earlier it was uh, blue in color but it changes its color to pink. This indicates that there was a lot of moisture and this moisture came out through transpiration from lower surface. Now what is the reason why this lower surface it transpirates more Actually, the lower surface in a dicot leaf has a more stomata. Numerous stomata are present there. And more stomata means more transpiration will occur from the surface. And more transpiration will change the color of this cobalt chloride paper to pink. So this is a simple experiment which is a demonstrating, I mean which is proving also that lower surface it transpirates more. It is due to more stomata present on the lower surface. There is one more question for important for examination point of view that sometimes what happens during the daytime even if the plant is watered sufficiently a lot of water is present in the soil but sometimes the plant leaves they show wilting. What is, this re what is the reason behind it? Actually during the daytime when stomata are open they will allow both the processes transpiration as well as photosynthesis. For gaseous exchange also during photosynthesis, carbon dioxide will be absorbed by the leaves and process of photosynthesis will be carried on. At the same time since stomata are open, so transpiration will also occur. But sometimes the leaves they start showing wilting. Why it is so? When the rate of transpiration exceeds, then the rate of absorption of water, although water is present in the soil, but rate of transpiration will exceed rate of absorption of water from the soil. Then leaves, they are no more turgid. That means they will lose turgidity. They will become flaccid. And as a result of this flaccidity, the leaves, they will start showing wilting. So this is again important question for exams that the leaves of some plants, they wilt during daytime. Even if there is a lot of water present in the soil. So the answer is when the rate of transpiration it exceeds the rate of absorption of water from the soil. Then leaves they will start showing wilting and this is a temporary I mean adjustment by the plant. And in the evening when the stomata are almost closed there is no photosynthesis also. And there is very little transpiration. Again the leaves they regain their turgidity. And they become turgid and no wilting is seen there. Now in my next video I will be uh, talking about uh, certain adaptations 
of plants or leaves to reduce conspiration thank you